live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering ServiceNow, Knowledge17. Brought to you by ServiceNow. We're back, Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick. This is theCUBE, and we're here at ServiceNow Knowledge17. Stanley Toe is here, he's the global IT director at Semiconductor Manufacturer Broadcom. Stanley, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Nice to be here. So, Semiconductor, hot space right now. Things are going crazy, and uh, it's a good, good market, booming. It, so, uh, that's good, it's always good to be, uh, be in a hot space. But um, we're here at Knowledge. Maybe talk a little bit about your role, and then we'll get into the sort of what you're doing with sure. ServiceNow. Uh, you're right, the semiconductor is booming, but we don't do anything sexy. Yeah. <clears throat> Everything is, you know, components that go into your iPhones and stuff like that. They do the sexy stuff. We do the, uh, the thing that we make it work, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'm the, what we call the Enterprise End User Services Director. So basically anything that touches the end user, from the help desk to collaboration, to your PC, support desk, everything is under basically anything that touches the end user, right? Even onboarding. Uh, and then now with the uh, latest, we are actually, we actually move our all uh, customer support portal to even uh, ServiceNow CSM. So. Okay, so what led you to ServiceNow? Maybe take us back and take us through the before and the after. Okay, in uh, Broadcom Limited, uh, before we changed our name to Broadcom, uh, we were Avago Technologies. We are very cloud-centric. Anything that we can move to the cloud, we move to the cloud. So we were the first uh, multi-billion dollar company to move to Google in back in 2007, that's like 10 years ago, right? And then we never stopped since. Uh, you know, we have Okta, we have Workday, uh, and if you look at it, all this cloud technology works so well with ServiceNow, right? And ServiceNow is a platform that has all the API and, and connectors to all these other cloud platforms. So when we were looking and evaluating first as just a ITSM replacement, we selected ServiceNow because of the ease of integration. But as we get into service now, and, and as we learn service now, you found that it's not just an ITSM platform. You can, you know, use it for HR, for 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 finance, for legal, for facilities. Uh, recently, about probably about six months ago, we launched the HR module, and then three weeks ago, we went live with the CSM portal for the external customer. So, you know. When you say you, you go back to 2007 with Google, you're talking about what, Google Docs? Or? Everything. Every, everything, email, calendar, docs, uh, sites, drive, but it was All the productivity unknown. stuff. Sorry. Everything, so right? Outsourced that. They were unknown then, right, right, and right. there's a risk. So what right, was the right. conversation to take that risk? Because obviously there was a lot of concern at the enterprise level on some of these cloud services beyond test dev in the early days. Obviously you made the right bet, it worked out pretty well. <laughs> but I'm curious kind of what were the conversations and why did you ultimately decide to make that bet? Okay, so 2007 was just after the, the, the downturn, right? right? So everyone was looking at cost, at uh, supportability, but at the same time, the mobile phone, the mobile, you know, uh, the smartphone is just exploding in the market. Mm -hmm. So we want something that is very flexible, very scalable, and very easy to integrate, plus also give you mobility. So that's why we went with uh, Google as, as the first cloud uh, platform. But then we started adding, right? So right now, uh, we can basically do everything on your smartphone and we have Okta as our uh, single sign-on. From one portal, I go everywhere. So, okay, right? so that's good. So you talked about some of the criteria for mm -hmm. the, the platform. How has that affected how you do business, your, your, how you do IT business? See, IT has always been looked upon as a cost center, mm -hmm. right? And we are always slow, legacy system, hard to use, we don't listen to you. you what know, are those you know, guys do? You know, what are those, you know, why are we paying those guys, right? And then you look at all the consumer stuff. You know, they are sexy, you know, they are mobile, they have pretty pictures. Now all your internal users want the same experience. Right. So, you know, the experience has changed. You know, the old Unix command key doesn't work anymore. They want something touch, 
gooey, mobile. You know, they want to feel the color, you know. And that might be the best description <laughs> of the yeah. consumerization of IT, Dave, that we've ever had on the cube. Coming from an IT person, it is, it is honest. <laughs> and now you've, you've driven uh, uh, service now into other areas beyond yes. IT, right? You mentioned HR. HR. Uh, and we went live six months ago. Okay, and other these other areas, are you thinking about it, looking at it? or? Uh, so we are also looking with legal because they have a lot of legal documents and the NDAs and stuff like that. And the service now have a very nice integration to uh, DocuSign and Box. So we are looking at that, right? Uh, but the latest one we went live three weeks ago is the CSM, uh, the Customer Support Management Portal. And that one actually replaced one of our legacy system that has a stack of 16 applications running. And we collapsed that and went live on uh, ServiceNow CSM three weeks ago. And, and what has been two, two impacts, the business impact, and I'm curious, is the culture impact? You sort of set it up as the, the attitude. <laughs> we had fun with it, but it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the business impact and what has the cultural impact been? See, the last few years we have been doing a lot of acquisition. So we have been bringing in a lot of new BUs, right, business units, and they want things to move fast, and we want to integrate them into one brand, right? So speed and agility is key when you do acquisition. So that's why we are moving into a platform where we can integrate all these new companies easily, right? And uh, we, we found that in ServiceNow, and we can integrate them. So for example, when we acquired Broadcom Corporation, they have 18,000 employees. We onboarded them on day one. And, my, and usually when you do an acquisition, they don't give you the employee information until the last minute. Two days, all I need is to bring them all on, uh, onboarded into my collaboration suite. I only need two days of the information and on day one, turn it on, they are live. Their information is in, uh, they have an email account, all their information is in service now. They call one help desk, they call our help desk. They get all, all the, the, the help and services. So it's fully integrated on day one itself. And you guys also own LSI now, right? Yes, uh, LSI. Em Emulex. Emulex, PLX. PLX. The latest acquisition is Brocade, which we will close in the summer. And then, the, you know, the rumored Toshiba, NAN business. So, yeah, we are doing a lot of acquisition. Yeah, quite a roll up there. You're Correct. Gonna, uh, so as you can see, they are all very different companies. So when they come in, they have different culture. They have different workflow. They have different processes. But if you integrate them into a platform that we are very familiar right now, right? It's a consumerized look and feel. Mm. It's very easy to bring them in. And that is the cultural change that yes. has occurred, right? It's so people love IT now, or is that? They still hate <laughs> IT, they still say, you know, uh, IT is a cost center, but, you know, but right now, you know, they are coming around and they, they see that we are bringing value to them, right? So right now, IT is just not to provide you the basic, IT is to enable mm. the business to be better and more competitive. Your true partner yes. for the business. Correct. Stanley, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. It was great to hear your story, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE, we're live from ServiceNow Knowledge 17. Be right back.